Good morning guys, want to start this vlog with a pretty view, so here it is. There is something in the middle of the ocean on the top of that cliff. Wait, I need to zoom in. Oh, really like uh, those grottos. Anyways, guys, properly good morning. Yes, good morning. <laughs> so today, actually, we are doing probably the longest ride in one day we've ever done. We are going home back to Cabanatuan city from Ilocos Sur, which is like over 300 kilometers. And we will even take like um, not the shortest route, but the more scenery route next to the ocean. So good luck for us today. Yeah, good luck. It's so hot already and it's like 8.30. Yes, but we are taking our own advice to stop at everything interesting and check it out. That one was already interesting to me. Okay, we can go now. Now I need help for you to put my salon. <laughs> old, old people on the road. We are two and a half hours on the road now, already starting some back pains. This is the part what, that we usually don't vlog, but now we are always ready and have a salon pass, back patch for back pain. <laughs> we are like an old couple. <laughs> No matter how much rest we take, just sitting with the helmet on our head in a straight position always gives us some shoulder pain, so <laughs> traveling hack always have this with you. <laughs> Very. <laughs> we found Quack Quack and we are in Luna now. We just took a short side trip to stop by Walu Arta Watchtower. It's right on the beach, so as expected, it's super, super sunny. But since we were already here in Luna for the first time, it's our first time in Luna, so couldn't miss out this famous watchtower since we were already so close. <laughs> Pixel, look, Pixel look, is look, collecting look. for travel photos. Look! <laughs> Actually another historical landmark in the area since we are doing history since we went to Vigan. Hope the mic is okay, it's so windy. It is. I read that it's over 400 years old watchtower and it was built during the Spanish era. They were facing the sea and this was the watchtower to point out uh, potential Japanese attacks and also pirates. One more stop, guys. Got an iced coffee. I saw we are in La Union right now, and I saw on the map that there's this really cute um, spot which is like a coffee shop, but it's in a Kubo and it's so cute. We are just here on the side of the road, and then look, at, look how cute it is. The longer we are on the road, the more frequent the stop. I can't even speak anymore. <laughs> the more frequent stops we need because it's getting really tiring. Perfect because there's also a car in the area next to the cute Kubo, so we can also have some lunch. Tortang talong every day. Tortang talong with it long. <laughs> egg with egg. <laughs> it seems like um, in these areas where we are riding through, it's a bit more difficult to find, find gulai only dishes in car in the areas, even like pinak bed that we eat a lot in other provinces here it's usually made with meat we stopped at like more than 10 current areas and usually the only meat-free option is tortang talong so <laughs> that's what we're gonna have 
with rice and a bit of a bit more egg just in case we need the energy someone else next to me is interested in the meal What is this? Arianda <laughs> time guys, we are in Ago Ola Union. We already knew that there's a nice spot to relax here in Ago O. So we decided to stop by here because we are getting very tired. We are over, I think almost a 200 kilometers travel right now we have more than a hundred kilometers to go so we need a longer rest we got an ice cream in panda sauce snack perfect the ago park looks a little bit different than last time a lot of the leaves has fallen from the trees last time actually when we were here we were wrong we were saying that these are pine trees but i learned it from the comment section that these are actually agoho trees which the whole city is named after still pretty even though it's not as green as last time when we saw it besides the ice cream we have some mango with bago ong perfect we have salty and sweet merienda some chip chocolate <laughs> almost <laughs> <laughs> it's so sweet. It's a sweet moment with Susie and Jonathan. <laughs> Open it wide. <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah, right. I'm scared. <laughs> Guys, these are the moments when that we usually don't plug anymore when we are on the way home traveling a lot and we are starting to <laughs> act weird <laughs> from tiredness. <laughs> Now we are back at home guys so as you could see from that lightning on the road we got caught in a rain so we had to hide the camera and then after we just pushed through the rest of the road and it was not easy it was our first time ever doing something like this doing such a long road in one day but i'm so glad we did it because every time we do like a long distance like this which is a new record um to us it opens like new possibilities like vegan was like like unreachable far for us and now look at us we did that distance just in one day so this is this is the lesson from this vlog that it's so good to like get out of um, our comfort zone and just try things that we never did before because it's so rewarding that's the lesson from this challenge that we just did gardening behind me <laughs> wanted to show you this also this is a new tarp which we just got for future campings so even if it's raining we will be able to set up our tent under and also guys for the end of this vlog i wanted to show you quickly how we carry everything because we kind of showed you everything we carry with ourselves when we were camping in Baguio and a lot of you were still surprised in the comments you couldn't really like um, believe how it fits in our small scooter so just quickly I want to show you how we do this because that let's go let's go let's go in the road again you want to go so this is our 55 liter box that I showed you in the camping vlog also this is basically all of our like camping things change clothes everything that we need for like an overnight stay we don't actually open this while we are traveling we are only opening it up when we are already arriving to our accommodation and then we can just grab this whole box and bring it to the campsite or to the hotel and then it has everything we need for the night and then we also have this compartment which 
I gonna be honest, I have no idea how many liters is this, but this is where we put everything that we need like quick access to it's still a lot of storage so we can still fit a lot of our things and then we still have this backpack which jonathan carries on the front so this is still a lot of extra storage and we made it waterproof because the backpack itself is thin but we have a waterproof bag inside of it and basically we have most of our gadgets in it like the drone everything we need for the camera chargers so it can always be with us even when we leave the motorcycle these are the very precious things that we don't want to leave to heat up or anything so we can bring it with ourselves and then as some of you noticed other than all of that we still also carry pixel with ourselves this is her little doggy bag it has nice ventilation and she can comfortably stand up or lay down inside and this is how I carry her with me. She is staying on my lap so I can hold her securely. So yes, this is how our setup looks like traveling on a scooter. But I think this is going to be all for this vlog. Now we will spend some time at home and actually next week I will have a really exciting announcement for you. So I hope you are also excited for that. And thank you so much for watching this vlog and we will see you next time in the next vlog. Bye!